In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a super cool glitch mirror effect. My name is Vegard, and if you are new to the channel, I do a lot of video editing and filmmaking tutorials. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So there's one glitch effect that I'm really fond of, and that is the mirror glitch effect. And I haven't really seen a lot of tutorials on how you can make this certain effect. To get started, I'm going to show you how to do this by making a new adjustment layer, because we're going to work with that adjustment layer to make this effect. So down here in the project folder, we can go and create a new adjustment layer and uh, just click OK on that and uh, dragging it on top of your footage. Now I got two clips on the timeline here, so I really want to glitch from this clip over to this other clip. And um, I'm going to just go in the middle between the clips and I'm going to hold Shift and uh, go to the right, uh, left two times. So that will basically be 10 frames of our footage. And we're just going to trim down the adjustment layer. I'm also going to do the same with the uh, other side. So one, two, 10 more frames on that side. So now we have like an equal uh, partition to this uh, glitch effect we're going to work with. In the effects panel, we're going to search for a effect called mirror. And you will find that in the distort folder and you can just drag that on top of your adjustment layer. And the first thing we're going to do is to work with the reflection angle. So I'm just going to drag this to about 90 degrees. And then we have like this mirrored image of this uh, hacker. And I might just drag that down a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to go to the first frame of this uh, effect because we are going to do some keyframing. So to make a keyframing, we are basically going to animate this mirror. And uh, I'm going to toggle the animation on both of them. So we are making two keyframes here on each of these parameter, the reflection center and the reflection angle. And then I'm going to go one frame ahead in the timeline. And I'm actually just going to reset the whole thing by clicking this reset parameter. So now we basically have, have it starting out with this simple mirror image and uh, we're going to go one frame again and i'm going to make the reflection angle 75 degrees this time so it's more angled and uh, we're going to make some more keyframes here so i'm going to go and reset this to zero on this keyframe then i'm going to go to the next and, and I'm just going to make a ton of keyframes, so I'm not going to let you watch all of that, but just uh, keep in mind that I'm making a ton of keyframes. Now one thing you need to keep in mind is that you don't have black areas of the mirror, so... Just keep that in mind when you are making the effect. So that is basically the first step of this glitch mirror effect. And it kind of looks like this right now. I think that looks pretty good. And um, you can see all of the keyframes that I made here. There's a bunch of them. So when you are making this, don't worry about following the the, the numbers correctly because you can make this glitch effect your own. The next step we are going to do is to add some noise into the glitch. So to achieve this I'm going to go to warp and we're going to go into the distort folder and uh, 
search for wave warp and I'm just going to drag this on top of the adjustment layer. So we are basically done with the first part of it now. And now we are going to work with the wave warp effect. So the first thing we need to change here is uh, change it from sign. And uh, I think I'm going to go with noise for this one. And then we're going to make some keyframing uh, from the beginning of this clip. And I'm going to make a keyframe on wave height, wave width, uh, maybe the direction and um, wave speed. So we can skip ahead one frame. And the first thing we're going to change is the direction. So I like to have it around 260 and the wave height you can uh, vary this a lot so I'm going to leave it about there and uh, the wave width as well you can drag this how much up or down you want and I'm basically going to do the same in this step I'm going to just drag around and, and make a random choices to to all of the p parameters here because if there's something you don't like you can just change it later so i'm going to work with the wave width and the wave height and then i'm going to go like really high to really separate the wave height so after we've done all of that let's take a look at what it looks like it looks pretty good to me one, one thing to keep in mind when you are making this uh, effect is that it's really heavy on your computer. So what I really want to do is to set an in point by clicking I on your keyboard. And after a red hair, I also want to click O. And then you can just simply hit enter and everything will render. So you can uh, watch your uh, glitch effect perfectly and with no lag. I also made some presets with the mirror glitch effect that you can download in the link in the description below. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, create and inspire, and I will see you in the next video.